Hello everyone, I'm back. So in this video, in the last video we spoke about Mocha. In this video, actually, what I want to talk about, just adding on to Mocha, is Moke Awesome. And Moke Awesome is a reporter for using with Mocha. So you might remember that when when we um when we ran our tests, so Mocha test. And then it runs our test, blah, blah, blah. This fails. OK. And then the final test, boom. And when the test is done, this is what we get back. And uh, I don't like it. Like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of it, although you know, as a developer, you'll probably get comfortable using using this and eventually um, be very comfortable in the console and reading errors and all that. I mean, I, I got used to it for a while, but then I discovered Mocha Awesome. And this is Mocha Awesome right here. And uh, a gorgeous HTML CSS reporter for Mocha.js. And that's initially what I thought uh, when I was done with using Mocha. And seeing the, all this, I thought, well, why can't I just get a nice little report, like, you know, on a web page or something? And that's what this is. And when you're done with your tests, they're rendered more like this. They changed the UI a bit. Um, I don't think this has been updated. But it'll show you how to download it and all that. It's made by this guy, Adam Gruber, or Grubber. And, um, and you can install it via NPM. So let's do that. I'm going to do npm install save dev and moke awesome. Blah. And it's very easy to use and very straightforward. You don't have to do anything crazy or fancy. Um, once it's installed, you can basically just call it from the command line like this, which is what I usually do for my own pleasure. So now we're going to run our test. And we're going to say like this, Mocha test reporter, and then Mocha awesome, and then reporter options. And what I want is Uh, it's right here somewhere. Actually, no, where was it? Oh yeah, I want it to auto open at the end of the test. Open the report after running tests. So, um, options auto open equals true. And let's fire this bad boy up. So the same thing happens. You still get the same feedback in the in the command line as you normally would. But this time at the end, you will get a pretty little report. Boom, just like that. And see how it just came up? It's pretty cool. I really like it. It makes, to me, it just makes the experience of working with all this so much better. I mean, it's, Right now, it's it's not much, but when you have uh, a larger test suite and you see all your test suites here, and you get you know you can get charts and all that, and um, it's really cool. So, and then you can toggle them, and it'll show you the code that ran. This one was an alert. I mean, um, was an error, and you get the the stack trace and everything. You get the error here, and then you get the code that ran when the error came and then boom that's literally it there's not much more to to, to show to show failed all right let me try uh, this one option I haven't tried before what was it it was enable charts
Oh, okay. That's I think that's just this right here. Uh, when you get when you have um, more tests, they changed the interface a bit because before it used to be it used to be more like this, and yeah, it gave you more stats. I don't understand where all the stats went. Hmm. I might even contact the developer about this, um, or just try to read the documentation more. But um, yeah, you used to get more, more, more info, more statistics, and and then yeah, what I do remember, and that seems to have changed in the new version, is that when your test failed, the exact thing that failed would they would show you the the exact thing that failed, and then. You can toggle the the whole stack. Hmm. I doubt that they took away functionality. So, but anyway, whatever. The whole point is just to have a, a nice overview, quick overview of your tests, and um, and something pretty to show. You know, your it can be a supervisor, your manager, product manager. Somebody who's maybe not as technical, but just wants to see some visual feedback about tests running, test passing, and, or, and what's failing. All right. So that's it for this video. Very short video, but um, if you the, the installation was very straightforward. And how to run it was very straightforward. You just have to go just in the NPM repo. I mean, went to the, on the NPM website, you can just type the name of these things, and then you'll see. Um, you'll see documentation for it, and that's usually the documentation on their GitHub pages. And then if you go to their GitHub, oh, is there a Gitter? Yeah, they got a Gitter, so I can ask about all this stuff. That's awesome. I'm going to ask about the, the new functionality, if they took some away or not. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.